The Kudumbushri program was started 25 years ago in the Indian state of Kerala by the left Democratic Front government. It was part of the government's state poverty eradication mission and had the objective of women's social and financial emancipation. The Kudumbushri program was set in the context of Kerala government's People's Plan campaign. This aimed to decentralize power and promote bottom-up planning. It meant giving political control to the masses, enabling them to take decisions on the development and projects they want in their areas. So, um, before the decentralization, also there was a uh, there was a uh, discussion regarding women's status in Kerala society. Uh, we always say that uh, it's a uh, paradox that though we have very good educational condition, though we have a better health condition, but uh, that uh, crimes against women, the male chauvinist uh, attitude inside and outside uh, family and the work condition of women are not good. Uh, we can't uh, uh, compare these things to a uh, developed society. So at that time there was this discussion that how to how to use this opportunity of decentralization to make women's life more uh, uh, better. So the decision in the decision making process women are not there. Though we had education, though we had good health uh, condition, we are not there in the decision making process. So this was a this was a golden opportunity for Kerala women to intervene in the this whole development process. At that discussion, in the, the beginning of the discussion, our first task was how to make women participate in the Gram Sabha. Because in the Gram Sabha, the whole discussion on development happens. What are the issues? What, will the, what are the uh, solution? Uh, what are the chances to uh, create new things? So, uh, the first Grama Sabha, it happens uh, 1996, November 1st. Uh, in that Grama Sabha, there was a huge campaign for uh, making people participate in the Grama Sabha, but the participation of women were uh, less than 5%. It was really depressing because after all this huge campaign, women were not interested in participating in the Grama Sabha because they were new to, no, not used to attend the development uh, activities. The second Grama Sabha, we that government took a uh, uh, took more effort, and uh, we could uh, make women participate more in Grama Sabha. It increased as ten percent, next eleven percent, fifteen percent. Now you can see after these twenty-four years, you can see in almost Grama Sabha, women are majority, more than ninety percent, because they are active in every every work. Actually, there could be she. There are two, three kinds of uh, activities they are taking. Uh, uh, one is the economic activities because women uh, uh, they need um, work, and uh, in Kerala, it's it's uh, not that much work we find. Uh, after this MGNR ages, women, lot of women are uh, involved in MGNR ages work. But before that. This uh, economic activities, women were very few. And the work participation of women in Kerala also less. Uh, and the Kudumbashi, they they wanted to make uh, to form uh, micro enterprises, my small small group. But in in the what product and how to market it, and uh, that was a huge problem. In the beginning, they they were uh, comfortable working with me in the household. Uh, making something and market in the law in the use the ma local market only so, so they uh, started working on uh, soap making or uh, pickle or that kind of thing which they are very familiar with so in the first um, two three years that was the main area soap and pickle making and uh, ready mates and um, uh, some animal husbandry, uh, 
mainly chicken farms and that like like that but uh, now we can see in every district there are training groups different training groups run by women only uh, who are experts in different area so this training group started giving training to uh, the the micro enterprise group now you can see more than 30000 micro enterprises uh, that small groups are uh, working in uh, in in kerala under kudubishri but uh, we can see that when they started uh, cultivating vegetables uh, in the uh, in the agriculture sector actually that become in a, in a very good success uh, story there there are many stories more than 50000 hectares of land now uh, is uh, cultivated by kudumbashi uh, joint liability group jlg joint liability groups they get bank loan uh, from the commercial banks and um, in a uh, less uh, interest rate and uh, actually uh, government also supporting them the subsidies uh, through the agriculture department and they are getting uh, training from uh, agriculture department different agencies and the training group of uh, kudumbashi also helping them and kudumbashi started kerala chicken it's a, it's a uh, very good cooperative kind of uh, institution and uh, last year their profit was 100 crore so it's a it's a, uh, it's a success model uh, for uh, Kudumbashi. When Kudumbashi started, uh, they were reluctant to, the families were reluctant to send their women attend meeting outside their homes. Uh, women go outside for work, but they the family never the, they don't want to send their women for attending other activities, social activities or political activities. So after the, the ten years, uh, uh, when uh, this uh, 2000 election, also we can see uh, that the, the, that time one third uh, reservation was there in the local level. Then 2010. 50% reservation in the local self-government happened and when the election happened 53% women came into power. At that time we, I did a study and uh, it was very interesting that in the punch, when the local government 58% of uh, election representatives were women. That means in many general seats women contested and they won't. They won't. And uh, by that time, uh, that presence of women, it was not, uh, before that it was a, it's a rare thing, but uh, uh, after that uh, decentralized planning and Kudumbashri, uh, people started uh, uh, inviting women into uh, discussion and uh, any another develop, other development activities. So, uh, the government also started uh, including Kudumbashri in everywhere for a huge campaign or if government want to, to wants to take something into the local level they will select Kudumbashri as the agency to so Kudumbashri started working not just a poverty alleviation program but it's a development uh, program so actually that 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 was it, that made some change in the attitude of society towards uh, Kudumbashri Kudumbashri was not just a poor women's group, but they they involved in every activity, even in the uh, that uh, uh, dengue happened or chicken gunia happened. Kudumbashri were the women were go to uh, the, the, the they were the uh, the leaders in the local level uh, leading the campaign. So uh, in 2050, 2010, this 50 percent uh, reservation happened. Uh, Almost 30 40 percent of electoral representatives were uh, coming from Kudumbashri. They were CDS chairperson or ADS chairperson, like that. And when this 2015 election happened, 
At that time also, 58% of electoral representatives in the Gram Panchayat, local village level were uh, women. And the participation of Kudumbashree women, they, who were uh, developed as uh, uh, local level leaders through Kudumbashree, it re increased. And almost 70% of women who elected in the local, uh, local, uh, local election were who, women who were active in Kudumbashree. So Kudumbashi is in its part become an innovative part of uh, innovative part of uh, local uh, self government. It was not the parallel thing; it was very linked to the local self government activity. There are many uh, social welfare schemes. Uh, of the department, the Kerala government, run through Kudumbashri. They, they, the Kudumbashri will identify the beneficiary. The Kudumbashri will distribute the uh, that thing, subsidy or any benefits they get from uh, uh, that government. So, it's, uh, the Kudumbashri women become very important persons in the local level. And um, uh, why I uh, told this, uh, tell this all the history because when this flood happened, it was very natural that government take Kudumbashi very seriously, and uh, Kudumbashi women were very active in the uh, rehabilitation or relief camps and rehabilitation process and uh, cleaning process. Everywhere Kudumbashi women were there and uh, distributing food during the flood and after that also women were very active and uh, then covid came during covid uh, government started uh, this janagiya hotel popular this people's hotel mm -hmm. uh, because uh, go in, during covid many uh, people the people lost uh, work especially in the that uh, Lower, low income group lost their low jobs. Uh, it was very difficult to get some money and uh, or loans from uh, banks or uh, outside. That uh, the government started uh, giving uh, food for uh, minimum uh, price, it's, uh, 20 rupees. You, you will get a decent food for uh, as, as lunch, breakfast, and dinner also. Uh, normally in other hotels, the, the that lunch will cost hundred minimum hundred rupees, but in Kudumbashri you will get twenty rupees, and the government will give uh, rice and other things in subsidy subsidized rice rate to Kudumbashri. That was the uh, arrangement. So when COVID it was uh, in the peak of that COVID, uh, actually this people's hotels. Uh, started. It was actually it was a very so so, so uh, sir, uh, matter of relief that we get food from these hotels in twenty by twenty rupees. If we want any special uh, fish or anything, we had to uh, pay more uh, 20, ten rupees or five rupees. So uh, the the volunteers vol volunteers started uh, collecting food from these hotels and they they will give distribute to the uh, who are need that so, because many in many houses they were during the lockdown they couldn't go, go out or uh, packing food or buying something so uh, at that time that people's hotel actually got very popular the people's hotel actually it is very it's a very uh, novel idea and uh, now more than 1000 hotels are running now also very successfully uh, we can see the working people the agriculture workers mgnr areas workers they depend these uh, 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 hotels and in the cities also even trivandrum this very actually during the lunch time you can't get a packet because will, there will be long queue so it's very popular Uh, in the last 
24 years we can see more and more women uh, active in the political parties they are uh, participating in election now no political parties in kerala can uh, think election or any campaign without women it was not like that before the, the they need only one woman uh, say uh, like uh, the kind of honorary uh, this uh, uh, that ornamental uh, position but now it's not like that that participation increased uh, and the lead in the leadership also uh, in uh, all over uh, party political parties committees in as elected representatives and mlas and in many other uh, uh, positions we can see more and more, more women who have the experience of working with kurubashi or working with the local level it was not like the the family tradition or anything like that but women who have the real experience of working with uh, local level activities with the kurubashi uh, they are they get a good position good recognition in the uh, in the political structure and the uh, and the, uh, the and the uh, uh, government structure and even in other organizations also and uh, we can see um, uh, some uh, very good leaders uh, in idua and in other many other organizations we can see very good leaders who have uh, who were uh, homemakers before kudumbashri uh, but they developed as real local level leaders through kudumbashri and uh, uh, many uh, political parties uh, always give priority to this women who have very good uh, relationship with contact with the local uh, people because actually the kudumbashri itself has a politics in kerala it really uh, challenges the exploitation of uh, that uh, that is the uh, uh, mfs uh, that uh, yeah mfis and uh, all other that uh, small small uh, private banks exploitation of private banks so there is a politics yeah there is a politics uh, of kudumbashi uh, it's an alternative way of doing things and it is not like the world bank sponsored sgcs it's different so uh, i think kudumbashi and the uh, left government and left movement uh, really uh, work together it's not separated but in kudumbashi there are many women who have different politics they are conquerors bjp and many of them have, don't don't have an any politics but this politicization of things it happens in kudumbashi now they discuss about the issues uh, happen to them they, what are the challenges and uh, what is the reason of the problems they face and i think that is more important now kudumbashi the answers they are strong enough to resist these kind of challenges